Hey guys, today I'm going to cover gap, land, bevel angle, all of the above because that all plays into your bead. If your angle of your bevel is different, then your land needs to be smaller. If the pipe has imperfections in it and the bevel's not perfect, that's going to determine what your face and land and all that other stuff, gap, all that is part of it. It's relative. I'm gonna try to walk you through it. I hope you enjoy, let's go. Okay, so we got our measurement, we got our cut length, but look, you need, you need to know I cheat this thing. See, this is supposed to be up here normally, but that's just more you have to weld. So I sharpen it up, put it on the zero on a Matthew Derman bevel machine. It makes the bevel a little bit sharper. It's just less you have to weld. So we're gonna fire this baby up, get it to the perfect cutting tip, and I am not gonna preheat anything. I'm not gonna waste a bunch of oxygen going around and doing all that garbage. Put a number one tip in your torch and cut. Now that bevel is a little bit sharper than most. Not bad, just some. And there's a welding inspector out there saying, oh, it's gotta be 60 degrees or it's not gonna, forget about that. You cut it however you wanna cut it. But just remember, if you lay that bevel way back, you're gonna have to put a bigger land on it or it'll be best to. Because the longer it is, the thinner it is on the end. The sharper it is, the less land. So, just a little tip, let's keep going. So that'll give you an idea about what I use. They have a little, little bit sharper and I use a, just a little bit smaller land. I don't know, it's about the same. We don't ever measure them, we just put something on there. Nothing's ever perfect out here, you know what I mean? Let's keep going. All right, Jose just got through putting a land on this pipe for me. And I put it on video, but the welding machine's running and you can't hear anything. So you can see it's about, this is a 332 welding rod, and it's about a 332. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what you think. What matters is you can weld it. So if you need a heavier land, use a heavier land but it all correlates together on gap and land. And there's a lot of imperfections. There's a lot of imperfections that happen along the way. None of this stuff's perfect. So do whatever you gotta do. Use a tighter land, use a lot of welders, use a super tight land. I'm somewhere in the middle. I, I just don't like to fight it. I like for it to just glide in there and not have any trouble. So if you wanna do that, hit the like button and subscribe because I'm bringing the heat. Jose showing you a little trick right now. We don't use two hole pins anymore. I used to, I haven't used them in years. All we do is line the level up on the two holes. That's why I love those red levels. It's got one big fat magnet right in the middle and it's easy to stick between the holes. I'll get you a little closer look. So you can see just a little bit of daylight in that one and a little bit in that one. And it's not quite level, but it will be. Our spacer, okay. So our spacer, more like a sixteenth. More than likely, I'm going to have to do a voiceover because my mics are broke. And I hate watching videos with bad audio. That sky looks awesome. All right, let's go. All right, Jose's got me fitted up here. I just put the top tack in it. And that is pretty much close to perfect for me. Now, you'll notice, you can see through that bevel, you can see down here through the bevel. So when you go to tack the bottom, look down here, and you'll watch me. I'll scratch it off right here and I'll get it going. And then instead of trying to break in my neck looking under there, I'll just stand up and look through this and watch it go in from the top side because you can see the bottom from the top. 
just a tip to help you not work so hard. Make sure your tacks are about an inch. Don't, if you put a big long tack on it, it's gonna be hard to get it level later. Another tip. We just ground the tack, we just tapered it. Not to be confused, see we got up here just a little bit. We don't wanna get up here. If you thin this out, when you come off, it'll try to blow out and it's just, you have to fight it. But the main thing is not fighting it. Same thing on the bottom. We touched it, but it's not big. All right, so we're gonna put the bead in this piece of pipe. I got my top and bottom tack in. Now, I wanna talk about rod angle because I've got some people getting hung up on dead man's curb down here. So when you start off, I hear a lot of people say straight in. Well, pretty much, but lead it just a little bit. Not quite straight in like this. And make sure you stay like that the whole time when you get down on the bottom when you're on the bottom your your stinger should still be in front of you you know what i mean is that you want to and just practice that practice practice that angle you can watch me do it and watch it several times because it's pretty much the same way on everything we do once you get it the knack for it it's it's really simple but just about put it in without a welding tool So I start off on the top, leading it just a little bit. And as I get down on the side, I notice my rod's pretty much straight in. It's funny, I didn't know that until I saw myself do it on video. <laughs> but I do know at the bottom, I'm going to lead it. Let me get the stinger ahead of the rod, where it's kind of, you know, I don't know another way to say it besides leading it. And that'll just close up. Guys, once you start getting this, you do it successfully a couple times without stopping, it's going to be like second nature. It's going to be not a big deal anymore. But I remember when I started, it was just a nightmare trying to make it from the bottom top to the bottom without having something happen. But just keep on practicing. You'll notice I do the same thing on this side. Leading it just a little bit. And then on the side, I'll be pretty much straight in. I could have turned it up a little bit, but my helper was holding the camera. That's it, guys. If you've got any questions, leave it in the comments. And if you got any gripes and complaints, write them down. Roll them up and stick them. <laughs> Have an awesome day. Later.